In this chapter, we describe the phase conversion, coordination transformation, and inverse transformation in vector conversion. 3 to 2 phase projection converts currents flowing through the U, V, and W phases of a motor, IU, IV, and IW into stationary coordinates, I alpha and I beta. This transformation is called Clark transformation. In this transformation, the property of an ideal three phase alternating current is utilized, which is that the sum of three sine waves is zero. The relationship among IU, IV, and IW is represented by equation 1. Let the three phase currents be IU, IV, and IW, and the two phase currents after Clark transformation be I alpha and I beta. Then, I alpha and I beta can be calculated using equation 2. At this time, set U axis and alpha axis to the same axis. When coordination transformation is simply performed, from three phase current into two phase, the result is 1.5 times. Thus, Multiply the value by a factor of two-third, then this is the final value of I alpha and I beta. In coordination transformation, stationary coordinate current values, such as I alpha and I beta, are transformed into rotational coordination currents, such as I D and I Q. When rotational coordination axis, D axis and Q axis, are used, rotor position information, value theta, is needed. This value theta is detected by rotor position detection function. Rotor position detection is performed every PWM cycle. At startup, position detection is unstable. Therefore, an angle derived from the RPM set point is used instead of the theta value detected. This transformation is called part transformation. This angle theta is an angle between alpha axis and D axis. Then, the values of I alpha and I beta that are calculated in phase transformation are transformed into rotational coordinates ID and IQ respectively. In this step, we need to know a current value ID of the magnetic component and the current value IQ of the torque component. Let the currents at stationary coordinates be I alpha and I beta and the currents at rotational coordinates be ID and IQ. Then, ID and IQ can be calculated using equation 3. This stationary coordinate has to be converted to a rotational coordinate, according to the rotor position. In inverse transformation, voltages of rotational coordinates VD and VQ are converted to voltages of stationary coordinates V alpha and V beta, respectively. VD is a voltage of the magnetic component. VQ is a voltage of the torque component. They are calculated in current control. This conversion is called inverse part transformation. Angle theta is an angle between alpha axis and D axis. Then, voltage VD of the magnetic component and voltage VQ of the torque component, calculated in current control are transformed into stationary coordinates V alpha and V beta, respectively. Since the rotor is rotating, a value theta changes every time coordinate transformation is performed. Let the voltages at rotational coordinates BVD and VQ and the voltages at stationary coordinates, BV alpha and V beta. Then, V alpha and V beta can be calculated using equation 4. In the final process, three phase voltage is used, therefore, the values are converted from rotational coordinates to stationary coordinates. In coordinate conversion, stationary coordinates are converted to rotational coordinates. Then, inverse transformation is performed. That concludes the description. In the next chapter, we will describe space vector modulation.